Hello and welcome back. It is the weekend before Halloween and the town is looking very festive, I must say. If this is the first time you're tuning in, my name is Bronwyn. We are the Impromptu Immigrants and we are a South African family living in Ireland. I am coming to you from my car because there is a baby sleeping upstairs and noisy boys downstairs. So there was no place for me to do the video so I am now in my car outside the house <laughs> so this is where we are and this is how we get it done right so this week I wanted to talk about Halloween in South Africa Halloween isn't a huge thing it seems to be growing in popularity but we didn't really celebrate it as children um, into my adult years and when I had Josh there were a few walkabouts and dress up parties, but nothing as big as what I've seen here in Ireland. And it made me want to find out more about Halloween. So I did a bit of research and I want to share what I found out with you. Now, Halloween falls on the 31st of October, which will be Monday. Just a big reminder to everybody out there, whoever this is relevant to, on the 30th of October on Sunday at 2 a.m. the clocks are going back so just remember to set your clock back and you don't get caught out. <laughs> so for those who don't know Halloween originated in Ireland which I find amazing it's very much it's become quite commercialized so you don't really think about its roots its origins so it originated in Ireland and the festival the ancient ancient Gaelic festival um, known as Samhain is where Halloween comes from. The ancient Gaelic festival Samhain and it's spelled S-A-M-H-A-I-N but pronounced Samhain. It was um, basically marking the end of the harvest and the beginning of winter. Samhain was first mentioned in early Irish literature in the 9th century. Early literature says Samhain was marked by great gatherings and feasts and was when the ancient burial mounds were open and were seen as portals to the other world. Some of the literature also associates Samhain with bonfires and sacrifices. The festival was not recorded in detail until early the early modern era. Now during Samhain, during this time people believed that the veil was thin in other words um, they believed during this time it was easy for spirits and fairies to cross over into the living world they would often set a place at a table for lost ones lost loved ones to join um, to join in the feast during this time that they believed that the veil was thin and spirits could come across and people would make offerings of food and drink to ensure that their livestock and themselves would remain healthy through the winter. 
So on the eve of Samhain, young people would go from house to house and they would gather food and they would gather kindling for the bonfires. Now the Druids will, would light the fires and everybody would gather around them. And as I've said before, they believed it provided cleansing and protection from the spirits that could cross over. Now the next day, people would extinguish their fires at home, let them die out, and they would go and gather embers from these sacred bonfires and they would take these embers and as the stories that I've read tell they would put these embers inside turnips carved out turnips and they would carry these embers home and light their fire at home they did this because they believed it would bring them good fortune and good luck now, something interesting that I learned was where the word bonfire originated from. Now, taking the word bon and fire, bon comes from the word bone and fire, obviously fire. What they used to do with these bonfires, they used to throw crops and animal bones into these fires. And that's where the word originates from. These sacred fires were believed to have power to ward off evil spirits. And so people stayed close to them, often wearing costumes of animal skins and heads as disguises to frighten away the spirits and to ensure their own safety. Now there are some Neolithic um, ruins today in Ireland that you can go to and they are built in such an incredible way and they predate the pyramids in Egypt. They are built in such an incredible way that on the morning of um, after Halloween this when the Sun rises it actually aligns in the passageways and there's just so much to read about these passages and these these Neolithic domes uh, it is just so incredible I can't wait to actually go and see one um, so I would just advise you just just research all of this it is just so interesting there is just so much to know and the history is just so rich it's just incredible and I just love finding out more and more and more um, about these incredible events in Ireland in the past. I hope you found this video interesting. I really enjoyed just learning more about Halloween and if I've gotten something wrong and it's inaccurate let me know. I'm open to correction and I would love to know your stories about Halloween and how you grew up and how you celebrate Halloween if you celebrate Halloween at all and just I just love connecting with people so leave a comment give a like if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe have a wonderful weekend and thank you so much for watching see you next week